men of God, women of God, children of the body of Christ, chosen children and believers of the body of Christ. I recently went through something in my household um, that I've got through and I'm able to see. Um, and it's released me to be able to share this word because this is exactly what's happening in this hour. And I'm just going to read, um, Luke 22, 31, and this is a KTV. And it says, and the Lord said, Simon, Simon, behold, Satan has desired. And this pig about off the, the last video, um, that I did. And the Lord says, Simon, Simon, behold, Satan has desired to have you that he may sift you as wheat. But I have prayed for thee that your faith fail not. A lot of you, your faith is being tested. The enemy is trying to sift you. And the video that I just did, I was talking about how old thoughts, certain um, suggestions are coming to your mind, certain spirits that you're feeling that's attaching itself to you that you know the Lord has delivered you from. And it goes against the character and how you've been walking with the Lord. Um, and so even, you know, the irritation, the anger, um, even lustfulness has been trying to, um, lustful spirits have been trying to, uh, attach itself to you certain things that you would look at you and normally just be able to um turn away from it and not be tempted by it so this is a testing i remember in the name of jesus um we remember when jesus was was fasting and he was um being tempted by the enemy um the the, the devil was like i give you all of this M many of you are getting presented certain things and opportunities that don't go along with what God has been telling you all along. They just popping up out of the blue. God's been speaking to you about a certain thing, a certain place to live. He's been putting it in your spirit, in your dreams, in the name of Jesus. He's been speaking to you. Come on, Holy Spirit. And all of a sudden, certain things are starting to come to you. And those of you that do know who your spouses are, you got other people trying to... Um, you know, um, that, that are coming before you and you're asking God, if this is your spouse and, and this is the enemy, the enemy, because some of you, um, you haven't, some of you, um, haven't seen, there's a lot of silence right now between you and your spouse. And so the enemy is trying to bring trickery. And I'm saying this again, he's trying to sift you as weak. He's trying to get you to react and go against the word of God. What God has already been speaking to you. When Jesus was fasting, the enemy was saying, I'll give you all of this. If you bow down and worship me, the enemy don't, the Satan was saying this to Jesus, but Satan don't own nothing. So that right, right there is a deception right there. He was already, it's delusion right there. Satan owns nothing. God owns it all. So nothing can be handed to not, the enemy is trying to present, um, something to you so you can bow down and worship him by disobeying God. Okay. Mm, in the name of Jesus, it says he's trying to sift you as wheat, but it is the Lord be, this testing. It is the Lord that has prayed for you that your faith fail not. And when you are converted, strengthen your brother. So when you come out of this, you will testify. Because you're so close to what God has for you. And when you come out of this, you're going to testify because the enemy is trying to derail you. He's done this to you in the past and he's trying to present the same because it's been a long time since the last time he was able to derail you. He's trying to do it again to you. But remember and pay attention. Remember what God has been telling you all along. And remember that time that you was tricked. These us being tricked, God allows it so we can notice it when it comes again. Come on. God is so good. I'm going to read from the Amplified Version. Simon, Simon, Peter, listen, Satan has demanded permission. Come on now to sift all of you like grain. But I have prayed, especially for you, Peter, that your faith and confidence in me may not fail. And you, once you have turned back again to me, 
Strengthen and support your brothers in faith. This is for the body of Christ because this is happening right now. When you come out of this, you're going to be strengthening your brothers and sisters in faith. Satan is trying to get you to react to certain things. He's trying to distract you. He's trying to um, present a lie to you so you can obey his lie and command and his, his, and what he's trying to get you to do. He's trying to get you out of the path. He's trying to get you out of position. God has already spoken to you who your spouse was. He's already spoken to you a place to live. He's spoken to you a whole lot of things over and over in your time, spending time with him. And the enemy is trying to come and derail that. Whose voice will you believe? Whose report will you believe in this time? When you come out of this, strengthen your brothers in Christ. In Jesus' name. Hallelujah. <laughs>